Hi, I'm Brett Middleton, and today I'm at East Coast Bull Bars here um, in sunny Queensland. And one of the things that I wanted to take a quick five minutes opportunity to talk to you about is what I've learned um, from the performance automotive industry competing in the Australian East Coast Bull Bars SUV Rally Challenge is just what makes up a bull bar. Now, obviously, in my industry, it's all about making cars go fast, round corners, sway bars, springs, powerful ECUs. But as our market moves more and more into the uh, four-wheel drive turbo diesel market, I wanted to learn more about, obviously, the aftermarket accessories that are available for these particular cars, but also because East Coast Bull Bars are involved in the Australian Rally Championship, obviously, I'm also passionately involved in the people who partner with the sport that I so much enjoy. And one of the things that I've really learned today, as you can see in some of these still photos, as we walked around the complex here, I mean, look, I'll be straight up with you. Up until a couple of months ago, I didn't even know who East Coast Bull Bars were. I knew about other brands that are available in the Australian market, but I didn't realise just about this Australian company who here employs over 80 people hand-making and producing what is without doubt the world's best alloy bull bar. And they both fabricate it from scratch, they bend the aluminium shape to get the right design to suit your car, and of course their passion towards delivering it at the end actually this is not a sales pitch, this is about me actually telling you what I've learnt and from a business point of view, owning and running my own business at MRT Performance, it's not only about making sure that you've got the right path but also making sure at the end that they're delivered and they perform as you, the owner, want to exist with your own particular vehicle. So whether it's the way the uh, winch is attached to a cradle that is mounted inside the bull bar instead of actually bolted to the bull bar or the way the, the actual product is manufactured with these guys physically welding the parts together, bending the alloy tube and even just down to the details on the quality of the alloy that they use stands them alone from a lot of other bars that are available on the market. So from what I wanted to say is when you're seeing my SUV turbo diesel Forester in the forests you'll see that we're actually carrying a light bar, which is an East Coast Bull Bar's nudge bar on the front of our car for the night stages. You'll actually see the reason why that's on the car is for two reasons. One is to carry the lights, but also to give the front of our SUV that little bit of extra protection if I make a mistake and actually go off the road and hit a tree. So when you're choosing a particular part for your car, just take in mind the things that make the difference on how you're going to choose what is it you want and I'm sure that you'll come to the fruition on choosing why an East Coast bull bar is certainly the right one for you.